Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to Less Dependent Wisconsin. Well, today we're going fishing. This episode is all about crappie. We're going to show you how I catch them, we'll clean some up, and then cook some for dinner. So, I got the boat in the water, so let's go get started. First spot we're going to be fishing, we're in about seven foot of water. There's a bunch of submerged weeds, submerged weeds around. The tackle we'll be using is a moon eye jig head with a pink and chartreuse body. We'll also be using power baits, crappie nibbles. I've got a bobber set about three feet above this. And that's just so I can keep it at a consistent depth and work it back. So. Cast it out there and see what happens. I'll kind of work it back slowly. loon just popped up to say hello. Bye. First crappie in the boat. Got him vertical jigging. So we'll try that tactic. He's pretty good size, about nine inches. You can keep 25. So 24 to go. We're in about 15 feet of water here. I just dropped the lure down about 10 feet and we're just letting it sit. Boats, boats, wind's kind of blowing the boat around a little so it's moving. And when you see the tip of the rod go down, it's time. Now in Wisconsin, you can work three rods at a time. So that's why I can have one vertical jigging. And then I have this one that I can be casting with. Okay, now I'm out in one of the deeper parts of the lake. It's about 20 something foot here. But I've picked up a couple. This lake doesn't have a whole lot of big crappies. They kind of max out at about the nine inch range. Got a bite here. There we go. All right. Action. Five in the cooler, 20 to go. Okay, so everything I've been catching today has been in pretty deep water, actually. 15 feet or more. Vertical jigging seems to be working well. There we go. So what crappie do is, in the spring, 
They go into the shallow water to spawn. Then they spend a good portion of the summer in four to seven feet of water. And then they go to their deeper haunts for winter. All winter long, they'll be staying in the deepest part of the lake. So it's mid-August, so they've already started moving. Now it looks like we're gonna fish in the rain for a little bit. Keeps this up, I'm gonna call it a day. We got a good little mess of fish, so won't be a bad thing if it's over. Okay, so I just got home. Looks like I got 19 crappie. So pretty good day on the lake. But now we have to clean these. So I'm gonna get the station set up and we'll talk you through what happens next. So this part's gonna get a little messy, but uh, if you wanna look away, um, I've got a little station set up out here by the tomatoes so that when I'm done, I can just rinse everything off. I got a bucket for my leftover parts. I got some fresh clean water for the fillets. I've got a few different knives, a knife sharpener. And then this glove, it's optional, but helps you hang on to the fish. So, all right, I'm gonna th throw a couple of these back in there. Grab our trusty fillet knife. The way I do it, I come along, angle the knife towards the top of the back, just slice down till you get to the backbone and you're coming along the backbone and separating the ribs from the spine flip it over take your knife tip and separate it from the skin all right so we got one fillet there flip it over Exact same thing for the other side. Take a slightly smaller knife now. And now you really can't save any meat off the ribs, so it's just as easy to go along and cut that out. The belly meat's all still good. There's one good looking crappie filet. out another good looking fillet okay so i've got quite a few of these to do i'm not going to bore you with the rest but then when i'm done we'll cook some dinner i waited out i got about a pound and a quarter of crappie fillets okay and what we're going to do is i've got this wok heating up you don't have to use a wok but Anything that will hold a little vegetable oil. Let that heat up for a minute. Take some of our fillets and put them in this breading. This is Andy's breading that I got from the grocery store. I actually mix the plain and the Cajun together so it's not too hot. Good meal. 
Give that a quick shake. These should be nice and evenly coated. Now the rest of these fillets, what I'll do, pull this out of the freezer, I will put them in quart bags, fill it with water, get as much air out as possible, and then store them flat in the freezer. And then whenever I'm ready for a meal, I'll just pull one out. So. Okay, the oil's hot enough now. Just go ahead and put our fish in. Fry it a couple minutes on each side. Doesn't take for these long for these little fillets to cook. It smells heavenly. So it's been four minutes or so. I flipped them. Go ahead and pull them out now. On a paper towel to soak up a little of the oil. these cool off for just a second while I get the rest of the dinner ready and there's tonight's dinner fresh fish that I caught baby red potatoes that I grew and beets that I grew and pickled so time to eat but I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions or comments but focus on being less dependent we'll see you soon have a great day get off that fly